Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. Thoughts for the day for March 1st. Topic of Selfishness, read by Kurt L. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Selfishness, self-centeredness. That, we think, is the root of our troubles, driven by a hundred forms of fear, self-delusion, self-seeking, and self-pity. We step on the toes of our fellows and they retaliate. Sometimes they hurt us, seemingly without provocation. But we invariably find that at some time in the past we have made decisions based on self, which later placed us in a position to be hurt. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 62. Thought to consider. Swallowing your pride will not get you drunk. Acronyms. Detach. Don't even think about changing him slash her. Just for today. Opinion from the three legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. As by some deep instinct, we have known from the very beginning that... No matter what the provocation, we must never publicly take sides, as AAs in any fight, even a worthy one. For all history affords us the spectacle of striving nations and groups finally torn asunder because they were designed for or tempted into controversy. Others fell apart because of sheer self-righteousness while trying to force upon the rest of mankind some millennium of their own specification. In our own times, we have seen millions die in political and economic wars, often spurred by religious and racial differences. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, page 123. Daily Reflections, it works. It works, it really does. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 88. When I get sober, I initially had faith only in the program of Alcoholics Anonymous. Desperation and fear kept me sober, and maybe a Caring and or tough sponsor helped. Faith in a higher power came much later. This faith came slowly at first. After I began listening to others share at meetings about their experiences. Experiences that I had never faced sober, but that they were facing with strength from a higher power. Out of their sharing came hope that I too would and could get a higher power. In time, I learned that a higher power, a faith that works under all conditions, is possible. Today, this faith, plus the honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness to work the steps of the program, gives me the serenity that I seek. It works. It really does. As Bill sees it, brain power alone? To the intellectually self-sufficient man or woman, many AAs can say, yes, we were like you. Far too smart for our own good. We love to have people call us precocious. We used our education to blow ourselves up into prideful balloons, though we were careful to hide this from others. Secretly, we felt we could float above the rest of the folks on our brain power alone. Scientific progress told us that there was nothing man couldn't do. Knowledge was all-powerful. Intellect could conquer nature. Since we were brighter than most folks, so we thought, the spoils of victory would be ours for the thinking. The God of intellect displaced the God of our fathers. But John Barleycorn had other ideas. We who had won so handsomely in a walk turned into all-time losers. We saw that we had to reconsider or die. 12 and 12, page 29 to 30. A big book quote. We do not like to pronounce any individual as alcoholic, but you can quickly diagnose yourself. Step over to the nearest bar room and try some controlled drinking. Try to drink and stop abruptly. Try it more than once. It will not take long for you to decide if you are honest with yourself about it. It may be worth a bad case of jitters if you get a full knowledge of your condition. Alcoholics Anonymous. More about alcoholism. Page 31. 24 hours a day. AA. Thought for the day. When I find myself thinking about taking a drink, I say to myself, don't reach out and take that problem back. You've given it to God and there's nothing you can do about it. So I forget about the drink. One of the most important parts of the AA program is to give our drink problem to God honestly and fully and never to reach out and take the problem back to ourselves. If we let God have it and keep it for good and then cooperate with him, we'll stay sober. Have I determined not to take the drink problem back to myself? (laughs) Meditation for the day. Constant effort is necessary if I am to grow spiritually and develop my spiritual life. I must keep the spiritual rules persistently, 
perseveringly, lovingly, patiently, and hopefully. By keeping them, every mountain of difficulty shall be laid low. The rough places of poverty of spirit shall be made smooth. And all who know me shall know that God is the Lord of all my ways. To get close to the Spirit of God is to find life and healing and strength. Prayer for the day. I pray that God's Spirit may be everything to my soul. I pray that God's Spirit may grow within me. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. This is Kurt. I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.